looking at our Kickstarter page for the Structure Sensor, which we just launched two days ago. Our goal was at $100,000, and we currently are closing in on $500,000, so it's going really well. We have a lot of really good backers. Both Jeff and I, we'd known each other from University of Michigan. I think the first time we met, I traded him a chicken wing for some M&Ms. Um, that was our first like business transaction, I guess. We were one of the first Techstars companies. We went through Techstars in 2008. So after Techstars, we just about ran out of money and we decided to launch a product to actually generate money. That product was called Red Laser, which was the first real-time barcode scanner for the iPhone that actually worked really well. And it became a pretty big success. Uh, in 2010, we sold it to eBay. With Red Laser, before eBay acquired it, it actually had over 2.2 million paid downloads. After that, we set our sights higher in terms of what we could build as a company, and we worked on 360 Panorama. As of today, 360 Panorama has 7.5 million downloads. We started down this path of building the first 3D sensor for mobile devices. We started assembling uh, people that we knew from our Techstars network to help us achieve our mission, and they were actually in the Connect Accelerator in uh, Seattle for Techstars. Their company was named ManCTL, and we actually ended up acquiring their company. So now we have this sort of mega tech stars company. And they joined our team and, and have been a great asset. And together we've just launched our new product. What this will let people do is scan objects in real time with their mobile device. It'll let people scan entire rooms and play augmented reality games. And we're pretty excited to see what developers can end up doing with this technology. We were trying to search for a perfect marketing director. We went through tons of candidates and we just couldn't find the right fit. But we met Adam Rodnitsky here in Boulder back you know, in the beginning of Techstars and we kept in touch ever since then. He ended up selling his company. Vikas uh, talked to Adam and Adam gave him the advice of, you know, in describing the perfect marketer for occipital to Vikas, I basically described myself. I remember uh, Nicholas T, one of your first reactions was, uh, we were talking about going to do a demo or something like that and, and you hadn't eaten your food and I said like, do you want to eat some food? And you said, I think this is more important than eating. <laughs> yeah. To me it really sounded like an opportunity to, to go fast and, and be there before anybody else. I actually think this is the beginning of something we'll see a lot more of in the future because the Techstars community is so tight as opportunities come up. It's just a natural, you know, it's a natural evolution for founders from different companies to start working together. 500,000, 124. All right, Pat. All right. I mean, at this point, it's just such a powerful, interconnected, and trusted network that we've been lucky enough to leverage to, to grow our company in multiple ways. When you're part of Techstars, you're part of something bigger than yourself. And that includes all these connections to people all over the world. Get back to work.